Well, finally tonight, the process of listening and dialogue that bishops from around the world started last year is coming to an end. Today, the Pope opened the second and final session of the Synod on Synodality, which is meant to deepen the missionary perspective of the church. EW10 Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. On a sunny Roman morning in St. Peter's Square, Pope Francis presided over the opening mass of the second session of the Synod on Synodality. Speaking to the more than 400 priests, bishops, cardinals and lay synod delegates, the Holy Father explained that church is always at the service of humanity, especially during these trying times of ongoing conflicts. At the end of his homily, Pope Francis called for a day of prayer and fasting on October the 7th, the one-year anniversary of the outbreak of the Israel-Hamas war. While we must remain firm in our faith, even in the face of challenges and difficulties, the Holy Father stressed that we must always have the hearts open to dialogue. Given the importance of a synod, in a certain sense, we must try to be great in spirit in heart, in outlook, because the issues that we must deal with are great and delicate, and the situations are broad and universal. Starting today, 368 participants from around the world will gather in the Vatican for the month of October to reflect on the theme for a synodal church, communion, participation and mission. This afternoon, the Holy Father greeted the participants and officially opened the first gathering of the Synod. He emphasized the importance of listening to the bishops and encouraged all to open themselves to the actions of the Holy Spirit. The synodal process is also a learning process, in the course of which the Church comes to know herself better and to identify the forms of pastoral activity best suited to the mission entrusted to her by her Lord. Over the coming weeks, the Synod discussions will include themes such as pastoral care and formation, ecclesial structures, and the clarification of church teachings and doctrine. At the end of this October assembly, a final document summarizing the outcome of the discussions will be handed over to the Holy Father for his consideration. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN News Nightly.